Hi, my name is Elise Viax, and I am currently a junior at Emory University studying biology and predictive health. I will be presenting on bovine milk, a secondary animal product of Bos primigenius, more commonly known as the cow. In the U.S., cow milk is often presented to the consumer as nature's most perfect food. But with the introduction and continued incorporation of controversial substances such as RBST and antibiotics in the diets of dairy cattle, it begs the question, what's in your milk? A topic that we will explore in this presentation today. In the U.S., bovine milk is often collected from dairy cows of several different breeds, including Brown Swiss, Holstein Frisian, Jersey, and Milking Shorthorn. The black and white spotted Holstein Frisian shown in the image here is the most common breed of dairy cattle in North America due to its unparalleled ability to produce large quantities of milk. As you can see, Holstein cows have large udders and typically possess visibly less muscle than cattle intended for meat production. The number of dairy cows per herd varies greatly both between and within countries. For example, in the United States, Herds composed of a dozen to 15,000 dairy cows can be found on various commercial dairy farms. Bovine milk is collected from the teats of Bose primigenius through hand milking or use of a milking machine. Although it is difficult to pinpoint the exact origin of bovine milk consumption, zoo archaeological data collected from the Central Balkans has recently indicated that sometime between the end of the late Neolithic era and the beginning of the post-Neolithic era, there was a shift in the use of primary animal products, including but not limited to meat, hide, and bone, to secondary products such as milk. Since cattle can only be used for their primary products once per life cycle, secondary products such as milk, which can be obtained more than once, present a noteworthy advantage over primary products such as meat. For example, milking a cow over its lifetime, as opposed to slaughtering it for its meat, would yield approximately four to five times more protein. The scale of bovine milk production and consumption differs greatly per region and is fluctuated over time. For example, approximately 180 kilograms of drinking milk are consumed per capita in Finland, as compared to Japan and China, where less than 50 kilograms are consumed per capita. Although Western societies continue to dominate in milk production, consumption has decreased since the 1960s. According to data from the International Dairy Foods Association, human consumption of bovine milk is down from 82.8 kilograms per capita to 80 kilograms in just 2011 alone, the lowest level of per capita consumption ever recorded for milk in the U.S. Bovine milk is mostly consumed by humans as a raw or pasteurized liquid. Milk fat is often used to produce various types of cheeses. Another less common use of milk is in organic agriculture. High concentrations of milk are applied to the leaves of plants, such as zucchini squash, to control powdery mildew. Although water is the main constituent of milk, it is also comprised of many nutrients, including lipids, proteins, amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. The lipid content of milk not only provides the consumer, human and bovine, with a source of energy, but also enables the absorption of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, all contained within milk. Milk also contains a variety of fatty acids. These include, but are not limited to, palmitic acid and stearic acid. Milk proteins exist as micelles, small particles in colloidal dispersions composed of complexes of protein and salt. Casein comprises approximately 80% of all milk proteins. The disaccharide sugar lactose is the primary carbohydrate found in bovine milk and is utilized by the calf and humans as a source of energy. Human health benefits associated with bovine milk consumption, not including those related to nutrition, include the prevention of cancer as well as antibacterial and antioxidant activity. As stated earlier, bovine milk contains the fatty acids, lauric acid and oleic acid. Lauric acid has been shown to function as an antiviral and antibacterial agent capable of killing H. pylori, the bacteria associated with ulcers. Oleic acid, on the other hand, has been shown to protect lipids and low-density lipoproteins from oxidative stress damage. 
Bovine milk proteins have been shown to possess antimicrobial properties, serve as immune stimulants, and aid in the absorption of nutrients among other biological functions. It has been believed for several centuries that whey protein, protein extracted from the liquid layer left over following cheese production, is beneficial to human health. Whey is commonly ingested by weightlifters and athletes to promote muscle building and repair. Calcium in bovine milk is believed to prevent hypertension as well as the development of kidney stones, breast cancer, and colon cancer. Another perceived health benefit to calcium intake is the maintenance of healthy bones. In addition to oleic acid, milk contains other compounds with known roles in the antioxidant system, including selenium, vitamin E, and vitamin A. Health dangers associated with the consumption of bovine milk include but are not limited to bovine milk hypersensitivity, chromium, manganese, lead, and cadmium cytotoxicity, and in the case of RBST-treated cows, increased risk of premenopausal breast cancer and prostate cancer. The supplementary use of recombinant bovine som somatropin, RBST, and the diet of dairy cows to increase milk production has been controversial since its introduction to the marketplace in 1994, specifically regarding possible negative human health consequences. RBST is an engineered protein hormone which seeks to mimic naturally derived bovine somatropin. The Canadian Veterinary Medical Association states that with RBST use, the development of clinical signs of lameness in cows increased by 55%, while the incidence of clinical mastitis or inflammation of the udder due to mammary gland bacterial infection increased by almost 25%. Concerning human consumption, the Food and Drug Administration, World Health Organization, American Medical Association, American Dietetics Association, and the National Institute of Health have all deemed milk produced by cows treated with RBST to be safe. Although cows treated with RB RBST were observed to produce milk with greater insulin-like growth factor, IGF, as compared to milk from untreated cows, oral toxicity studies conducted by the Food and Drug Administration have revealed that the concentration of IGF in milk collected from RBST-treated cows still falls within the normal physiological range found in human breast milk. However, it is important to note that increased levels of IGF are correlated with an increased risk of prostate and premenopausal breast cancer in humans. Beginning in the 1930s, the federal government of the United States of America subsidized both milk and milk fat by setting price supports and purchasing all surplus dairy products. This proved effective until the dairy industry experienced a plummet in sales due to consumer avoidance of high-fat dairy products as a result of studies linking the fat in milk to heart disease. In 1983, in an effort to increase sales, Congress passed the Dairy and Tobacco Adjustment Act, which sought to increase consumption of dairy products through the installment of various marketing schemes. Today, the U.S. dairy industry continues to thrive, having produced over $20 billion in sales in 2002 alone. Although several health dangers are associated with bovine milk consumption, the health and nutritional benefits of milk appear to outweigh the risks associated with it. However, future studies must be conducted on milk produced by RBST-treated cows to determine if there is a causal, not just a correlational, relationship between breast and prostate cancer and increased concentrations of growth hormone in the milk. Thank you.